Hey everybody, what is happening? East Day of the East, I am back with another one of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team Play Reviews. This is the uh, Jeremy Hill, uh, you know, season in review. Not a just full, just Jeremy Hill, uh, you know, clip like the uh, old reviews do. But this late in the season, I'm kind of just grouping together, uh, you know, a season's worth of plays, putting them in there. He's kind of the feature guy. You can see these are just some of the uh, big nasties I got up there blocking. I picked up the Kyle Long. I've got the Upshaw 99. I got the Deardorf 99. So by all means, we should be strong there. And we're going to start this off with Khalil Mack giving me a welcome back to Madden. Um, if you guys notice, I haven't posted anything in a couple weeks. I haven't even played in a couple weeks, really. Um, so uh, it's just getting late in the season, honestly. And I'm just trying to, you know, uh, you know, play some other games in, in between here and then. The 16 coming out, just to just to mix things up and add some personal stuff going on. I had nothing to bore you with on that one, but um, so. You know, I'm not going to be posting nearly as much as I was before, but I'll, I'll keep some out from time to time until 16 comes. And then, of course, I'm going to be hitting that one pretty hard. But as you see, getting into this game here, uh, I just got to knock the rust off. Um, this season was a little bit of a challenge at first. I knew it would be. Whenever I take time off the game, I, whenever I come back, just getting the timing and all that down. And then I remember all the play selection. You know, I normally, uh, you know, this season I kept it pretty basic. I uh, didn't really get too in, in depth into the play calls but you know a lot of times I'm just trying to run um, a lot of the base runs and stuff like that just to kind of see um, how Hill is going to perform as my number two uh, you know I basically had him in there for that slot and you know here we're seeing Khalil coming off the edge in that one just a beast uh, you know and forcing him for a punt but uh, you know I end up being backed up unfortunately in that case but we do get it out of the end zone there with Steve Smith gonna make a play almost gets away there so uh, two minute left here into, into the second uh, quarter here Let's see if we can get the bomb and oh my goodness I can't believe he made that play great great play on the uh, defender they're getting a hand in normally I thought I had to step there normally that's a touch uh, but you know, he, he made the play he made the right one Coming in, almost take the sack, but we get get rid of the ball in time. There's Steve Smith getting the extra yards too. You know, just dude, so quick, so quick, and and and, and he's tough as hell too. And there we go off the seam, and then we catch it with a nice pass lead, and then the uh, little juke move in with Fitz, and then we're gonna walk in for seven, or you know, six plus one, but we know whatever. It is. You know what I mean, man. And uh, he's coming back across, and there is. P. Willie just lighting them up. You know, tough in this video to tell sometimes if it's Willis or if it's Mac. They both got that 52. I think they both got the red gloves, I want to say, also. And they both are just beasts out there. So, hey, look at that with uh, just that, you know, 10 seconds left. We go down. We're going to get a little run from Jeremy. See if we can pick up some extra yards to get closer to a field goal then. And this one off. And good job there. I mean, I whatever this is, uh, an easy five for him. But damn, that guy almost blocked my kick, too, man. People are getting crazy about them blocks here lately. they got to, you know, pay attention to that. So, as we come in now, we we, we into the third. And, gosh, on fourth there. And he, yeah, it was a good user by him. He, you know, he stayed in between the guys. He made me have to choose. And he almost, he almost got the uh, game chasing user pick. But, unfortunately, uh, for him, he didn't get that hill. And look at that. I mean, uh, you know, he's only got, like, what, like 95 speed. But he still managed to pretty much get around the, around the corner on that. And I think that was, uh, who was that, Calvin chasing me. And there we go. Hitting, spinning, all, you know, one guy to beat. I think it was Taylor Mays got the shoestring on me. So, nice, uh, you know, ni nice carrying uh, off the bat. I don't get a, a ton of carries out of uh, Mr. Hill there uh, the first couple games here. I start just kind of working them in. Uh, but, you know, if I'm not using him, I got Jamal, and especially doing that. You know, Jamal... He gets me sometimes more yards receiving just on those little uh, screens and whatnot, you know, than anything else. And there's Jeremy basically coming in and cleaning it up. He's definitely going to be my goal line guy for sh for certain. I'm uh, definitely going to be pounding with him this year when I can. There's a quit. Not a lot of those though. Um, now, right. So we get the next game to jump into. And right off the bat, this guy's going to try and face catch me. And a um, couple themes of the season first. Um, I haven't played in a couple weeks. If you haven't noticed, I haven't uploaded any of that stuff. So I'm definitely rusty off the bat here. Uh, this guy throws that weird old pick to me there. Um, so I'll definitely battle the field goals this season. Um, you know, not a not a great variety in the play call and whatnot, but at least want to get out and show who I'm working with now. Um, you know, I sold the Demarco Murray. I wanted to see if 
I could get that uh, Jeremy Hill to kind of replace him for a heck of a lot less coin. You know, I've heard a lot of people say he's, he's pretty good for budget guy. And I screw up there and I forget that a guy came out and, f and tried to face catch the first time. And I, and I, I just play simple low cover three and he beats me at the face catch there. So, you know, go ahead, showboat buddy. You know, have it that. You're not going to have too much to celebrate after the fact, you know. Um, if I'm paying attention to the fact that you do that, I normally can shut it down pretty well. It's, again, if you if they catch you in the cover threes and stuff like that, though, it's easy to, especially one on one, it's easy to get face caught on. Um, you know, last season, last season, I think it recorded was what the PA end arounds are real strong. And there's Jeremy there, uh, you know, breaking the uh, you know breaking the tackles. He'll do that well. He'll fall forward for extra yards, I think. And here we go. They're kicking it out with him, and nice, big, big old chunk right off the bat here with Jeremy in the uh, first game here. So. Excellent. I mean, a little more speed would be nice. And that guy, he just, you know, he calls right play. But, you know, at least I didn't fumble. And still, even get slammed like that, I fall forward. So, pretty good. And, unfortunately, there, fourth down, I get caught holding the ball. <laughs> that's that's going to be some of that rust factor. When you don't play a while, your timing's off. But, luckily, uh, James Harrisman says, you know what? Here, have another shot at it. <laughs> you know, I'm not exactly... Uh, I'm going to do too well with it, unfortunately. Uh, like I say, I had a lot of field goals the first couple of games I played this year. So I, I, I believe uh, this one I end up same same thing, settling down or whatnot. But we can go uh, in the wide circle, see if we can make this happen, get in the end zone, and we do. Okay, so this time we do get the touchdown. Uh, we're going to take the 14-7 uh, lead. So Mr. Face Catcher there, let's see if we can start doubling up on the guy he wants to go to. And we do there. Uh, and that that's basically at least you got to try that at least got to get two guys on there I know some of the guys that are real good at it will uh, still find a way to catch those but there's a lot of people that everybody's pretty much doing that now apparently so um, there's not gonna be everybody's gonna be a, you know the same skill level it still requires a little bit and there we go James coming up and giving me a safety so excellent excellent I mean uh, Harrison's always beast in for me so, of course, he has to punish the ball. We get it back, and we're going to run some wide trap. Nice spin. Cut now and in. You know, so far, line's holding pretty well. Um, you know, the, the big question for me is having guys like that. And then you see Upshot pulling, making that. And Jeremy Hill, nice move. Nice. And by all means, okay, I <laughs> should have been a touchdown. But uh, I hit one too many moves, and <laughs> I screwed it up. So, Steve Smith gets the free one because he decides to, uh, you know, run commit on it. But by all means, that should have been Hills off that great run he had. And I do screw up one more time. I thought I was in my man and I was in the cover three. So he does get another face catch on me there. Unfortunately, he gets two in a game. That's normally, I don't know. Hey, what's that? I go up. Watt could have intercepted that. But besides, he turns around and hits the ball with his ass for some reason. Like, like what was that about? And somehow the guy makes that catch, but he fumbles. I get the ball. No time left. So he may have been down. I don't even know. But because the time ran out on that play, it, it's not even a challengeable one for him. It's not. There's nothing that could have been done about it. So, hey, you know what? You caught a break. You lost a break. And there we go. You see uh, Harrison putting, putting the heat on him again. And now we got double coverage out there where it should have been. So as long as I can keep in mind, hey, that's all this guy's offense is. And look at it. It's pretty sad. It's pretty much what the guy's offense is. And and that's a lot of people nowadays, unfortunately. You know, you, you shut every, you shut down a few things, and they're just going to start just straight trying to face catch on you. So we got that one taken care of good, out of the way, first game done. You know, uh, normally I can get through a full season in a decent amount of time, but uh, this year a lot of these games actually played all the way out. And right there, I thought I was in a good spot for the user, but I just just didn't have the right depth. But um, those are the st things that are going to happen when you haven't played in a bit. And Khalil Mack coming off the edge, dude, is just a freaking beast. I got the All Pro version of him, and and he's just tearing it up so far. And to leave, you know, again, if he's going to do the face catch stuff, I should at least get the the catching on this, you know, Madden. That's what's crazy. You know, they they do that little thing. They jump up, and when my guy defenders jump up, jump up two hands on the ball. I don't care where it is. I mean, I should be catching these balls, man. I mean, seriously, guys, get with it. If these guys are going to have AI that allows you guys to do this stupid, uh, you know, cut across and jump up and catch everything, I should be able to do it with my defenders too if they got decent catching. Uh, you know, Jeremy again up the middle. I really like him with that. I mean, I feel like I can really can plug away with that guy. Uh, I don't really think I'm really missing the beat as far as the, him and the DeMarco go. Not, not not much at all. And here we go. See, fighting, and he just keep bowls the guy in. You know, I'm missing the holes a little bit on these. I'm kind of running into the players. Um, 
I just want to see you know the fighting on it. And here he comes, and ah, uh, that's not how you face catch, buddy. That's how you throw an interception. I don't know what you're thinking there. Now, and obviously he was trying to throw something a little different there, but you know that's that's what he threw anyway. But and so we can come off uh, the first down there. I uh, decided to you know audible that one to the inside run, and I do end up uh, stalling on that one and, and having to settle for a field goal. Trying to cut these games down as much as I can because we're getting like five or six game plays in here, and you know it is like twenty something minutes on this one. It's probably the longest one I've put out, but you know I figured, hell, man, I've uh, made you wait like two weeks for a video, so I'm sure you won't mind a few extra minutes. And if not, guys, you know if you get bored with it, you know hey, click it off, do what you gotta do. But um, we're gonna get a, a decent look at these guys this season here, and. I screwed that whole drive up. I just had a whack. Definitely good play calling there. He beat me, beat me on that one. Uh, you know, the one thing I noticed about man that I really kind of I find personally frustrating about it is when you're running the man defense. It's kind of like that route. And come on, Steve, stay in bounds. But those little out routes, you can run underneath coverage and outside coverage, which would be exactly where those plays go. But you can't cover those with any man coverage. It's 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 like a broken aspect to AI, which is really kind of crappy. Um, you know, if I shade properly, I should be able to cover most things you're doing. Jamal getting out, getting out, baby. There we go, Jamal. Um, but, that, you know, hopefully that's the fix next year. Who knows? I mean, there's always going to be flaws in it. And there's Khalil again off the edge. Uh, you know, he, he, again, just a just a beast of a player. Um, except for right there. He really should have had, again, he's in the spot for a pick. But, you know, maybe the golden ticket Khalil Mack will, will make that one uh, when that one comes out. But... C.J. Mosley on fourth down, stepping up. You don't see him make a ton of plays. Great card. Um, you know, obviously he's only in my base formations, and I have been running a lot of nickel and some other formations lately because I've been running a lot of man stuff. So you don't see him on the field a lot, but definitely solid. And there we go, like I say, right off the gut with uh, Jeremy Hill there. So, uh, you know, definitely um, second half, especially when I got leads, and, I, you know, I feel like definitely could start leaning on that guy. I mean, you're not going to break him every time, but for the most part, for what you're getting for the price, I mean, this the best value running back I've used all year. I know I've had some guys that were cheap that still did pretty good, but um, I, I for the most part, can consider this guy a solid two, and in some offenses, a, a solid one. It's just, you know, with me, with the way I run Jamal, you'll notice if you, in the videos, you'll see I, I do a lot of the speed runs outside run Jamal, and a lot of those... Um, modified screens to the outside with Jamal just stuff to get him in space uh, I run a lot of those you'll see him um, I don't again I, I, I've said before those are like runs to me I just try and create space so I can make Jamal miss one guy or two and there's the cover uh, in cover to invert which I don't like to run because that seems to happen to me almost all the time I do it's like everybody's so used to seeing it I guess and there's Jamal and, and hey check this out okay Madden Nobody catches me on this play, Madden. That's the first, you know, first run for him. I think in that one run for 70 yards, 98 speed, and 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 that acceleration down the sideline. Okay, you guys really are, are so whack with your pursuit in this game. Those guys come from the other side of the field. They weren't even behind me. They come from, you know, they were, you know, 20 yards deep. You know, I mean, underneath me, and they can come across the field and make a tackle. It's just. With the boot stomp there for uh, Jeremy Hill, though. So, a uh, great, great TD run. Uh, you know, sorry, just venting on that because it's just some of the stupidity of, of the way the game operates. Uh, it just kills you sometimes, you know. And this guy, I don't know. He ran a bunch of those and got stuffed every time. That's probably the only one I'm showing. I'm not really sure why he was committed to that so often. And right there, uh, I'm in the user spot, and I just I didn't get positioned up. But, uh, you know, I at least, uh, you know, I, I'm... Starting to make the reads, coming back around. Uh, you know, most of these games are all in the same day. And, you know, when you haven't played, and I'll tell you what, in a while, it definitely, especially, you know, the higher tiers, they definitely, uh, <laughs> it shows. It definitely shows. But we're going to try here at the end of the half. Try to see if we can get some uh, points down. Uh, you know, we're 7-7, so we've got 35 seconds left. So at least get a field goal out of it. You know, go down in range. There we go. Very nice. Um, I probably could have hit the seam right there, but, you know, I saw the fifths going. seemed a little bit safer, and, and there we do. We do get the three points coming in for the, uh, you know, take the uh, lead going into the half. There we go. And he's going to be rolling out, and Khalil Mack with the sack. Definitely one of my uh, defensive studs for the season. You know, I'm not showing a ton of that stuff, but there we go. Hill, look at the moves on that one. Definitely like that. We go in. We have a, you know, we have to have the stutter step and then the cutout. I mean, for for a you know bigger guy, the way he kind of you know supposedly his body frame is moves pretty well. Surprisingly, uh, you know, the only thing he doesn't have is is just that 
super super speed but dude i mean uh, again i i can't st say enough about that is is i'm really happy about um you know downgrading if you if you want to say to him here we go a little spin we're in him on the wide trap and again you know the first couple guys there have a tough time bringing him down he just uh, he he does not like to fall, you know. Again, boom! First guy he he bumps off of, and the next guy, you know, even, even when he gets hit, he's going forward. He doesn't get slammed a whole lot. So, and then Jamal just doing his thing. You know, I like to spin, try and find the creases with him, trying to straighten up that way, and see if we can get Hill and get the uh, points. And no, I mean, look at that, just attacking me. So again, I got to settle for the three. I didn't want to do it, but you know, I didn't want to make it just a three-point game. Make him have to march down and get a touchdown on me. Um, not a good start, obviously, here. You know, we, you know, touchdown's going to lose it for me. And Emmett Smith, you know, big, big gain. You got Larry Allen poking, you know, making holes for him out there. So we've got to find a, a way to stop here. And James Harrison off the edge. There you go. That's the way you start the possession. We take the quarterback, injures, injures QB for that play. Hey, and Charles Woods coming up, knocking it out. He doesn't make a lot of plays, but he's not tested this year. It's just, you know, the way the way the some of the positions are. And he tries to go back to that um you know, the face catch off of uh you know the Mike Ditka because he hit that earlier in the game, and luckily we have enough guys there to slam it down. Fourth down, James Harrison. Um, you know, I showed him in the last video how clutch he is. And here we go. We just gotta run it out now, and then Jeremy Hill getting you know fighting for some nice yards. Let's see if we can get another another carry for him. And this time we're gonna get a big chunk. More than enough yards, so that's going to pretty much close the game out. He knocked me out, but either way, he's only got one timeout left, so I was able to take a knee, so another great run by him. So, you know, a, a few games in, um, I, you know, I'm really liking that. Uh, and now, if you want to say as far as the line goes, um, you know, Kyle Long, Upshaw, you do notice him a lot on the polling, you know, if you really are focusing on that. And there's Atwater coming up, probably the only pick I think he makes in these games. Um, you, you'll definitely see those guys, you know, when I'm running, like, on th that trap a lot. Upshaw makes his block very well. Um, I don't know necessarily if, if the value is truly there on the lineman. And there's another great block. Uh, I think uh, Long cuts out there, and um, he seals it, and then we just get a straight line in. Uh, I, I've gotten similar production, I was saying, um, from some of the mid-range guys, even like the 93, 95 sort of guys. So here we go, trying to get a bomb on there, and luckily Atwater Strange breaks it up. So while I'll say definitely you're going to get your money's worth out of um, Jeremy Hill for sure, uh, the lineman I'm kind of torn to really want to recommend somebody that expensive. Obviously, if you've got a lot of money, uh, you know, you've got a lot of coin, got a lot of stock players, it's nice to have. And look at that. Harris will not be denied. He don't get on the field very much. He's my number four, uh, you know, Harris Jr. He's my number four out there. But he makes the pick, and he's going in. And and then he follows it up with a, just a sloppy, sloppy play right there. That's so weird. I mean, he got hit when he threw, but it's just an odd play. So there we go, Jeremy. Uh, you know, not a great game, but again, just showing you he's going to fight off a guy. And and then showing you also that for some reason they made Khalil, uh, Clay's Campbell, sorry, just just fat as hell for in this game. I don't know why. It just looks like a beast. But and then the guy quits before I can score again. So that's all right. That's okay. So now we're gonna get in. Um, I believe we've just got one one more game to go. I know this has ran a little long. So if you've been with us, you know, thanks for checking us out so far. So we get to the final game here. Um, Aftermath, something like that. The guy's name is something along those lines, and he does a real good job right off the bat exploiting that hole I left. Um, I gambled and, and thought he was going to run something over the middle. I don't know why, I just had a feeling, and uh, he definitely exploited the, the, the lane I missed. So, so we'll see if we can go down and at least shut him down, hold him, hold him for three would be good here. Um, you know, a lot of people have that problem, even me included. You know, sometimes you get down close, you make. No problem getting down there, but uh, you get to the goal line and then you have to settle. And that's what he did. Oh, and he lights me up. Luckily, uh, Jamal holds onto the ball there. Uh, definitely not not a, a uh, great move by me. <laughs> but uh, third and two, let's get the easy, easy little move there. You know, again, that's uh, just to create space. You know, make one guy miss and get the easy first. So then uh, we get ooh, third and fourteen. I must have had a couple bad uh, bad plays beforehand, but 
we can go Steve Smith on these to play across. Not showing all the passes and stuff. As you notice, you're seeing mainly, again, we're just kind of watching the line, how they're kind of blocking, how they're holding up. Uh, I'll run a lot of the screens, a lot of stuff like that. And there we go, Jamal with the juke, then the spin, and almost. Oh, one more guy to beat. But very nice, very nice. You know, But we've seen him do that for a while now. Mike Evans coming across. Um, could have had him, could have had Fitz earlier. Either one of those guys would have worked j just fine. Here we go. Uh, first reads blocked up, but then we're going to uh, find Evans there. Had to delay just a little bit on that one. Um, he's been pretty good. He's he's not super fast. Uh, you know. Here we go at the end of this half, though. The guy gives me the ball back. I had what ten seconds there, so we take five seconds there. For I got nothing left but a bomb. So of course, uh, and this is really what the benefit of Mike Evans is: is I just launch one up and just just see what happens and. He gets the one hand and snag. So hey, you know if all the uh, face catch and all the crap that was done to me there, I, I managed to at least catch a bomb there, at least right, you know, at least to get some payback on that one. Uh, you know, it's not quite the same thing, you know, with those jump balls versus face catching. It's, they're kind of different concepts in there, and you know, but uh, it's what it is, you know. Anyhow, so Jamal coming, making a nice spin. There we go, open field again, and from behind, uh, you know. That dude's got 120 speed. He'll catch you from behind, right? <laughs> and there we go, Jeremy Hill again. Uh, hitting this out. Nice juke. Uh, he's got a, you know, good juke. He's got all the moves that, that you pretty much need. Again, the only thing he lacks is maybe one or two more speed that would just made that guy dominant. But again, for for a card that I paid something like, I don't know, 25K for or whatever it was. I mean, geez, he's just killing it. Killing it for me this year. And, uh... I'm probably looking, you know, I'm debating a couple guys right now. Oh, nice, uh, nice pick by Woodson. Debating either picking up possibly the 99 Jimmy Graham and then just doing a whole uh, review on him or maybe even getting the uh, fullback Bruce Miller. Those are both kind of like the only two guys i kind of got my eyes on lately that are even left. I, I'm not really going to be buying too many packs. Uh, uh, on occasion, I'll go for the gold tickets. I might try when the uh, Khalil Mack comes out. I might try for that gold ticket one, but... I mean, for the most part, there's no point in buying packs at this point in the season. It's all kind of a waste. There's no other good content out. You can't really make any coin off of crap anyway right now. Um, you're just really doing it to get the gold tickets. And even then, you know, I'm going to play with them for, you know, what, a couple months. Um, you know, I personally, I'm not going to be posting, all, you know, I mean, uh, nearly as much, uh, you, know, you know, this time of year. I am trying to mix in some other games, you know, uh, just for my own self. Have a little break between the two. Um, um, 15 and 16 that is and you know when 16 comes out definitely I'm gonna hit that heavy um, I'll be strong on reviews next year um, I got a good foundation I figured out what you guys like this year um, a lot of feedback from it so I'll, I will you know again time to time I'll get some more of these out this season but I you know I will be kind of mellowing so uh, you know just just so you guys know but again in 16 I will be back strong so I want to thank you guys for checking us out if you made it this far um, and I appreciate all the support again this season. And I will be seeing you uh, soon. And I'm definitely looking forward to the 16. So peace.